hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video series we are gonna build we are gonna design this kanban board web application using html CSN, css using html css and some basic uh, javascript and then later on we are gonna develop this actual project in merstack all right so this is basically the interface of a Kanba, kanban uh, process model so here you can see the desktop mode like on the left side you can see the sidebar and uh, navigation a navbar and a body of uh, the kanban uh, process so yeah uh, this is the actual desktop version of uh, kanban application by the way this is a project from uh, frontendmentor.io so let's see so this is interface for adding a new task so we're gonna implement this one as well like yeah and i'm not sure about this one so let's leave this one for now and yeah so this is like the closer uh, view of our application but we are gonna do one thing we will make this sidebar responsive so it will be hidden for smaller screens and we will have like a nav toggler here so when we click on that toggler this sidebar will uh, appear uh, yeah so um, this is gonna be pretty fun and yeah it's time to open our code editor so i already set up some basic html uh, an empty javascript file and an empty css file so i link both the css file in the head element and the javascript file just before the closing body tag and yeah so let's uh, open with live server uh yeah so here you guys can see mm, yeah so in this video uh, i'm gonna do some basic uh, uh, styling to our web page and i'm gonna set the color variables by the way from in this video you are gonna learn how to set and use variables in css so yeah in in this project we have uh, a simple color palette so like this the main uh, body color and this one and this uh, blue color and white color and yeah so yeah green color and these three colors so i'm gonna go to colors inspo and i'm gonna pick colors from here so you can choose where whatever color or whatever color palette you are gonna use so by the way these are not uh, the specific values we are gonna use in our project i'm gonna change a little bit in colors uh yeah so let's see this is kind of a darkish blue color so i mean let's go with this one and yeah let's go to styles and i'm gonna set the padding to zero pixels and margin to zero pixels as well of each uh, of our element and border box okay box sizing will be border box and let's do this 
so font size i'm gonna set it to 10 pixels because we are gonna use a rim property so here you can do body and font size 1.6 rim so one rim is actually one rim is actually equal to 16 pixels but i am uh, reducing here the font size of the our whole website to 10 pixels so now 1.6 rim means 16 pixels in actual and yeah right here i'm gonna set a root and um, create some color variables so color primary and this is how you can uh, create variables in css and yeah i'm gonna hover here and change a little bit like this one maybe this one yeah so this is our primary color this is gonna be our secondary color which will be a little bit like this one yeah, yeah and yeah just copy and paste it so tertiary color which will be this one blue one so let's go with this one yes it's a bit light so I can do this yes and white which is going to be FFF FFF yeah let's see what else we have so we have these three colors for each of our column so uh yeah it's a kind of this color this color and blue yeah so let's go with uh yeah this one for the first so iphone column iphone one which will be this exactly and <clears throat> for the second one is the same as our tertiary color so i'm gonna copy this okay let's copy and paste this one and yes and let's pick a green color which i'm gonna use this one this is column two. Let's paste this one here. Control C V and paste it here for now. Yep. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna save and let's go and check. Yeah, you guys can see. And I'm gonna use Poppins so Google fonts <laughs> Poppins and click here and maybe add this one 400 500 and 600 and yep you can copy or import so i'm gonna import a css url for this one so <clears throat> so i'm gonna copy and paste it on top of our file so it's gonna be this one and font family is gonna be poppins or if the link is broken so it's gonna be sans serif let's save and here we'll see yeah so our font is changed now <coughs> so let's go and 
create our basic layout for our project so we have a sidebar or navbar in our main section <coughs> so I'm gonna remove this one and div with the class of dot uh, app and here dot app underscore wrapper and in here we have <coughs> dot sidebar and we have <coughs> dot let's get a name of dot app underscore main and here we have nav dot nav and we have body so app underscore body yeah so that's all we need for now so I'm gonna right side bar and nav bar and app body right here I'm gonna save and you guys can see here so let's go and open our styles here <clears throat> so first of all I'm gonna copy app wrapper so it has it it has basically two elements child elements I mean elements inside so I'm gonna say dot app wrapper display flex but for now let's go for width 100 percent mm, display flex <coughs> so you guys will see yeah so these are side by side yeah this is our sidebar and this is our body and nav bar so to the sidebar let's give it a width of 25 percent and yeah it's too much so let's go for 20 percent <coughs> and background color in here how you can use css variable so you have to write war and our color for sidebar is secondary and you can see right here and color will be war again in white yep here you can see and for the app main which is going to be width of uh, 80 percent Mm, yes like this but for now I'm gonna say for like the sidebar I'm gonna say height of 100 VH yeah so here you can see we're gonna change this later maybe according to our need but I'm gonna leave it like this for now <coughs> so for the nav I'm gonna yeah let's uh, go and do this so a dot nav underscore logo let's write this and add a button so a dot btn and do this it does for now yeah so you can see right here sorry <coughs> gonna close this first I'm sorry so for the nav let's have width of 100 percent and height of 7 rim which is 70 pixels 
and let's give it a padding of 1.5 rim but from the top and bottom 0 rim and from the left and right 1.5 rim and display flex justify content space between and align items sorry uh, center yep like this and give it a background color of war secondary and for our ape body uh, give it a background color of war primary let's save and have a look here yeah. so here is our basic layout completed but i'm gonna give this a height height of let's calculate uh, so subtract this from the 100 viewport so 7 rim minus 100 vh hundred VH sorry minus seven rim like this I hope this will work uh, yeah so I'm gonna add some padding like <coughs> one point five rim mm, yeah <coughs> like this and let's give the color of war white <coughs> okay so I'm gonna target these two logo font size of 1.8 rim which is 18 pixels font weight of 500 let's see yeah like this and take decoration none and color war white again sorry <coughs> yeah like this and let's style our button so dot btn is gonna have padding of 0.8 rim from top and bottom and 1.4 rim from the left and right and let's give it a background color of or primary mm, no, not primary actually but this one tertiary mm, yep yeah, like this <clears throat> let's give it a color of war white and what else border radius 10 rim uh, yes like this and let's give it a text decoration of none yeah like this so here you can see basic uh, layout of our website so i think that's it for this video and, and from next video we are going to start designing our uh, sidewall like this but i'm gonna um, we are gonna remove this light and dark theme actually because we don't need that for this project we are gonna stick to this theme and yeah so Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.